You. All right, Eric, we are back to talk about the sit and reach. So Ross felt I was making fun of him during the assessment. Just kidding, but he wanted me to get on there to demonstrate the, his level of dysfunction is probably not all that bad. And I told him, I know, I know I can't do this either, but let's see if I can even get into ideal position. So Ross had started upright, which kind of cheap. He wasn't even really neutral. So if I want to get neutral at the lumbar pelvic hip complex, um, so I'm neutral here at the lumbar spine, and that's about it. So my neutral is here. <laughs> I can't even reach the plastic here unless I move my spine. So not that I have the most extensible tissues in the world, but many people can't even get into that neutral position. They don't have that bilateral hip flexion, the stress and strain that's going to be on the sciatic nerve, the extensibility of the hamstring and the calf complex, the mobility issues in the anterior hip capsule to get into this position. And then, you know, once I'm up here, I can Boom! Pull out a 12, but I'm going from like negative 5 to 12. So Ross, I win. I get like 17 <laughs> inches total if I go through that big gap. So another uh, thing that you're thinking about when you go and assess someone is, is someone lined up correctly and what exactly is it that you measure? Thanks for watching. I'm Eric Beard.